It is good to see you, Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. Go on then, Link. Draw it once more. Great Deku Tree! Thank you so much! <laughs> There is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. It can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fable blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. A sword that grows ever stronger. The Master Sword. What is that?
good. Oh, oh dear. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Uh, but that must mean... As I thought, this is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Ah, <sighs> uh, I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> now, Zelda dear. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. Oh. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? 
I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called Draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. One blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution, some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. <laughs> oh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. down before me. How is that possible? <sighs> so brute force will not be enough. The secret stone of the Zona. 
How interesting. Allow me to offer you my deepest apologies. On behalf of the Gerudo, for taking so long to accept your repeated invitations. It is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom. To serve it faithfully. A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth, well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. <coughs> your majesty has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. Most impressive. Hmm. It is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world with their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <laughs> your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. That man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just his name, even that, it gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. <sighs> there is nothing to worry about. Okay. Are you well? You seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. The secret is to think of it like drawing out the object's memory. You ask the object where it was, how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. The object's memory. I'm sure it will become almost like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. Huh? You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But... You also desperately want to help us out in this era. Oh. Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> oh. I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. 
Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. Queen Sonia! And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? Uh, that is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated, and he refuses to back down from any challenge. <sighs> he is very strong. <laughs> And his heart is good and true. Ah, I can see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. Indeed. I would also like to meet him. He must be quite the brave, courageous knight. What a picture Zelda paints of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zelda. We are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. <laughs> oh my. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? It is mine!
Sonia! You were too late, Rauru. You took for granted the godlike power you had in your hands. Do you now see the potential you squandered? As for her, she is merely the first victim of your arrogance. You tried to control me, Rauru, and you will die knowing that you failed. And it's on! Prince Sonia needs you! King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru, the Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. There's something I'd like to show you all. Stand with me. I need all your aid.
to serve Bravo, the King of Light. Sonia. Oh, Zelda. King Raru, before you face the Demon King tomorrow, there is something I must tell you. I came... I came to the Sierra after finding a man underground. Hmm. Go on. When I witnessed what the secret stone did to Ganondorf, at that moment, I knew for sure what we found underground, that was him. He was still alive, still powerful. He continues to live on all the way until my time. In tomorrow's battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. And you... And you will... Maybe so. But it is my duty to try. It was my hubris that set us on this path. I must atone for my error in judgment. And above all else, I remain the King of Hyrule. As with any leader, it is my duty to safeguard and protect my people, even if I must risk my life. And if it proves impossible for us to defeat Ganondorf, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. But remember, that was a future where you never appeared in this world. And you are here now. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. The reason I am here. Long ago, my people known as the Zonai came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Raru became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonya, and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonya one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonya as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, tragedy suddenly struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf, killed Queen Sonya and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats. 
But the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. However... The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Our fight appeared all but lost. And then, Raru. committed himself to one final act. so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. <laughs> Thousands of years will pass on the brink of an eye. You won't delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you, Link. Remember this name. Managed to restrain him somehow. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him.
How is the master sword? You're telling me that Link is safe? You traveled through time to find me and recover your strength. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. We will finally stop him. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. I'll be forever changed. You're saying that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then... What exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. It can heal itself, and even grow stronger. Curious. If we were able to empower it in that way, it could be the key to defeating the Demon King. But... It could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. The power the Demon King wields... I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you. That act is forbidden. For a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh, Maru! <gasps> You... won't be able to change back. The moment I had the sword, I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. I... I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. You really have made up your mind? <laughs> Very well then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I too will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. For the Swordsman Link, I will do everything I can. Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. Was that the sword that seals the darkness?
A blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. Restore the Master Sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Master Sword, your sword. She is the key to destroying the Demon King. He defeated her before, but a long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King, have my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. I pray. This sword reaches you in the...